If you have chronic kidney disease, there are some foods you should only eat organic. I'm gonna tell you which ones and why, coming right up. Hello, Kidney Warriors. James here with Dad Vice TV, your favorite online kidney health coach. And today, I'm gonna to talk about the importance of buying certain foods organic. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel or if for some reason you haven't done so already, please take just a second and click that subscribe button and the little bell icon right next to it. That way, every time I upload a brand new video helping you or someone you know fight and beat kidney disease, you'll be one of the first to know. Now, let's get to today's topic, organic foods. Now, did you know but while you're sitting there and you're eating healthy, with all this nutritional fruits and vegetables, some of those are loaded with toxins. I'm talking bug spray, all sorts of other things. And guess what those toxins do to your kidneys? Do you think they help it? Oh, no, they're damaging your kidneys. They're causing inflammation, reducing your GFR and your kidney function. Oh, so it's really important to be aware of which foods have the highest toxins so that you can avoid them. Now there's a group called the Environmental Working Group, also known as the EWG, and every year they study all the produce and come up with a list called the Dirty Dozen. The 12 foods that you should always by organic. Now we're gonna talk about that and additional foods that those of you with chronic kidney disease like me should always buy the organic version. Now I know, oh my goodness, I know a lot of you out there are thinking organic's expensive. It isn't, okay? I go, I shop at Kroger. Kroger's in my area. There's a Kroger a version of Kroger, Fred Meyer, some Anderson, something in that, in your area. Going with, say, apples, the difference, dollar, it's a dollar uh, 94 for a pound of these apples that I like that my son also likes. It's five cents a pound more. A nickel more for less toxins. So remove the toxins to help my kidneys, to help my body, to help my children. A nickel? Come on, okay. The myth that organic is so expensive is wrong. What's more expensive, dialysis or buying some organic food and paying a nickel, a dime, 20 cents more? Okay, it's not expensive. Get that out of your mind, all right? We're talking about your health, we're talking about your life, your future, having energy, regaining kidney function, all right? It's worth it to go organic. And we're gonna talk about why. And if at the end of this video you disagree with me, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll try my hardest to find more data to help you. But I think you're gonna see a lot of it right here in this video. All right, so let's now get down into the nitty gritty. The EWG, they reported, actually let's do a thing, take a guess, all right? This is not live. Take a guess what percentage of produce is contaminated with toxins. Take a guess, EWG did a study that released it. It keeps going up, the number. All right, some of you are guessing. Well, let's just kind of jump to it. Some of you are saying half of it. Half of the produce you eat is loaded with toxins. No, it's not half. <laughs> I wish it was only half. 70%, seven zero. Holy cow, what the heck are they feeding us? Don't they know they're killing us and it's not good to kill your customers? Because then how are they gonna keep eating later? They don't care. It's all about the money grub today. Putting as many chemicals on there to get the biggest yield of their food to get it to the market. Because people like us are not aware of just how dangerous some of these are. And we don't take precautions to try to remove the pesticides all the time on the foods that we have. Sometimes we can't remove, sometimes it's soaked inside. 
Now, our voice is starting to go, so I'm going to try to keep this video short. Right now, it's a very busy time in my life. Lots of traveling, lots of airplanes, so my voice kind of gets a little rough from all that dry air in the airplanes and traveling, but I want to keep on top of getting this information out there because this is helpful. So that's 70% of foods that are out there you're probably buying contain high levels of toxin. They're just awful for your kidneys. Now, when you get organic foods, they don't have these toxins. So, hey, good step. Also, another benefit to organic. A lot of foods now, and there's a race to get the biggest yield, the biggest, you know, carrots, the biggest tomatoes, all that stuff out there. They're genetically modified, known as GMOs, all right? And there is data out there, there is studies showing that GMOs are bad for your kidneys, especially genetically modified corn. And it's everywhere. Oh, that's the most common one. Uh, as a matter of fact, some places they've even outlawed GMOs. I wish the United States would do that. Follow Italy. They know what they're doing. Mediterranean diet's doing awesome. Holy cow. GMOs not allowed. We should kick GMOs out, but we're not. Almighty dollar, got to support the farmers. And I'm all for farmers, but not when you're hurting your customers. All right. If you're a farmer out there, killing your customers is bad for business. That should be business 101 first step. All right, let me get on my soapbox about how bad these are. Let's focus on the positive. When you buy organic, you're not getting all these chemicals. You're not getting GMOs. So another reason to strongly consider, or do it, that's what I would say, buy organic. All right, so now let's get to the list, the dirty dozen. These are the 12 most contaminated produce you can purchase, all right? If you have any of these, and I'm gonna list all 12, some of them are not good for stage five, stage four, or even stage three, chronic kidney disease diets, but I'm gonna go over all 12. I'm not gonna leave any of them off because you may have a loved one, you may have a child, and it's important to consider, you know, let me help their health. Let me not beat down their organs so that it's tougher later in life for them. You guys can tell I'm a little ticked off at uh, how, just how bad some of these foods are. It just, it just shocks me. We're all fighting for health. We want to live longer. And I, I, I got to get on my soapbox again. You know, there's companies out there that are like, well, I got a pill for that. We're going to make a fortune off it. Go ahead, feed them poison. I'm against all that. I don't want people to take unnecessary medication. And I want you to take what your body needs. And sometimes you need medication. Your doctor's going to prescribe it. And you take it as prescribed. If you change it, you talk to your doctor. If you're having problems, talk to your doctor. But I don't like how we have this whole system in place that's just all around the grab for money. And you got big pharma pumping in more drugs with tons of side effects. My goodness, it's crazy. And then we got, we're contaminating our food that we're feeding our children, we're feeding ourselves. And we're thinking, oh, we'll just take a pill for this, a pill for that. I'm so against that. And when it comes to fighting for your life. You know, when you have stage five kidney disease, your kidney function is just barely hanging on. Your blood pressure's all over the place, through the roof, because your kidneys can't even keep control of that. Your kidneys are not telling your bones to create enough red blood cells. Those are going down. Your hemoglobins are dropping. You're getting fatigued because your body's not getting enough oxygen. And so much of it relates back to our diet, what we're eating. And we're trying to make healthy choices. But a lot of these foods are contaminated with toxins we don't know about. And they're just damaging us more. So now let's get to it. Here's the dirty dozen. And as I mentioned, some of these foods are not recommended for kidney patients. But you guys have families. You got friends. Occasionally you might need a little potassium. You have something, a little bit of potato or something like that. As long as you keep it all balanced, you're okay. Okay, a bite of potato is not going to kill you. Eating only potatoes and you have 16% kidney function, okay, that's about, that's not good, all right? 
All right, let's get to the list. Here we go. Apples, celery, cherries, grapes, kale, also known as collard greens, nectarines, peaches, pears, potatoes, spinach, strawberries, and that potassium rich tomatoes. Those 12 foods have the highest level of toxins. And if you or anyone you care about eat, that's all of us, they should not be buying these unless they are organic. Now, when it comes to having chronic kidney disease, there's a few more I wanna to add to this list that you should always purchase organic. These also have a higher level of toxins in them and they're ones that are common on a kidney diet. These include blueberries, cucumbers, hot peppers, raspberries, snow peas, and sweet bell peppers. Now I know sometimes you can't always find organic of these. Maybe you really want some blueberries. Great! Blueberries are fantastic. Just loaded with so many things. And they're one of the things that help us fight anemia, that fatigue that sets in. Love adding a little bit of blueberries to things. Maybe you can't find organic. So what do you do? You have to make sure you're cleaning off your food. You're, you should be doing that naturally, always. But I know it's easy to pick up some raspberries while you're driving home from the grocery store, sitting there in the car driving, yeah, snack on a few of them, mm, delicious. Don't do that, okay? Let's, we've got to show some love for our kidneys and the rest of our body. Clean the food. Now you can't get all the toxins off by cleaning it, all right? There's stuff you can buy, these special soaps and they help, but some of these toxins soak down inside of the produce. They're inside it, you can't get rid of those. So when you can, buy organic of all those foods that I just listed. If you can't find organic, make certain, clean it really well before you use it, all right? Now there's one question I have for you guys. How many of you, and I want you to tell me in the comments, either a yes or a no, how many of you did your doctor, whether it was a nephrologist, your primary care physician, or your dietitian, told you the importance of buying and eating organic when you have chronic kidney disease? I know the answer is not gonna be everyone. It should have been. My first dietitian didn't mention anything about it. She didn't even mention preservatives, artificial flavors, and colors, and all that, how dangerous those are. It was my amazing primary care physician that really helped get my diet on the right track and got me from the worst part of my kidney disease. When I was below GFR 15, when I was stage five, them wanting to put me on dialysis, but he helped me. And a key part of it, well, the, the biggest part is diet. That's what helped me so much. And he made certain that I understood the importance of eating organic. Did your doctor do that? Let me know in the comments. All right, that's it for today's video. I really appreciate your time. I wanna thank everyone for watching and helping my channel grow. Please, if you know anyone, who has chronic kidney disease, who lives with someone who has chronic kidney disease, please share my channel with them. They may disagree with some things, that's all right, because we all are different. And no one treatment strategy is gonna work for everyone. But I truly believe that everyone out there can benefit from watching me go from stage five and keep getting better and better and better all the way into stage three and I'm headed to stage two and I hope I get there by January 2020. That's my target and I'm gonna do everything I can to get there. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.